On this beautiful Sabbath day, I am so grateful to God. What about you guys? Just so grateful to God. I'm so grateful though that he has given us the opportunity to connect. You know, never before in history have we had an opportunity to connect with people from all over the globe. You know, I was talking to another one of my clients and I was like, oh man, you know, she's a, she loves God. And I said, you know, I just hate that you are so far away. Everybody that I really vibe with, they're in another state or they're in another part of the world. And God just dropped a down low in my spirit when I said that. And I said to her, but you know what? The reason why God separated us to the four corners of the earth is because the earth is dark. The reason why he separated chosen ones the way that he did is because he wanted more of that light out. He wanted for us to impact every area to align it with his spirit, with his frequency, to reconcile people back to him. And although sometimes it does get a little lonely, when the people that you vibe with the most, you have the most connections with are so far away. Spiritually, we're right there together. It may seem that your tribe is far away from you, but I want you to know that you're right there. To We're right here together with one another. And as we just enjoy our Sabbath day today, I just want you to realize how significant you are and how powerful you are and how how so very necessary you are. And I know sometimes when we go through a whole week, you know, we get beat up sometimes. And not so much as physically beat up, but spiritually beat up. You know, we have thoughts just racing through our mind because we have not learned how to really channel thoughts that say all kind of crazy things to us or how bad we are, how insignificant we are. And look at you, you're this, oh, and you don't have this and you're pathetic. So we have that going on. And then we have the trials and tribulations in our life. You know, we're in a situation where everything is so expensive. You know, several chosen ones, I've seen you say that you don't have a home. You know, you're living from place to place, you know, so you're wrestling against that. Then you're wrestling against sometimes some of the strongholds that may be in your life, you know, whether you've had abandonment issues, whether you're struggling with addictions, whether you're just struggling with being alone, you know, we have all of those things going on. And so, you know, it's important, especially on the Sabbath day, if we could just surrender that to God, you know, give that to our father, give that to him and understand that although we don't understand everything that goes on in our life because we have been romanticized through that television that if we're not living a certain way that we are insignificant we have been telegraphically programmed to think that this one core group of individuals are so much better than anyone else and that's a lie from the pit of hell god loves us all we have been programmed from even our educational institutions that only this one particular group of people were not worthy of anything but having chains around their neck hands and their feet and so on blocks. I'm telling you that that is the lie from the pit of hell. I want you to understand today on the Sabbath day that Jesus came for all of us so that we could take every one of our issues and give it to him. When we can surrender and be like, God, we surrender it all to you. We don't understand everything that we may be going through in this hour, but we know that it is all working out for your good. So God, we just want to just thank you on this beautiful Sabbath day for giving us a moment to bask in your glory. God, we want to just thank you for what we do have, even if it's not much. And God, I want to pray for my brothers and my sisters that may be going through life's challenges where it's just so hard. I want to pray for my brothers and sisters out there that are homeless, that have no place to stay. God, you said, according to your word, that in you, they will find rest. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that suddenly you come in and provide them with a home, provide them with the provisions that the kingdom has. You just want them to open up their mind, God. I pray right now for every chosen one on this platform that you begin to open up your mind and acknowledge 
acknowledge who God is. Open up your mind and acknowledge that Jesus is there for you right now, working it out for you. Open up your mind right now and understand that there's no good thing that God will deny you if you acknowledge that he exists. Open up your mind right now and let go of anything that's holding you back. It's in our mind that we hold ourselves back. God is saying, be free in your mind and align your mind to his word, his, his, his frequency, his spirit, his divinity. And I want you to understand that no matter how tough it is for you today, that you are still winning. And the reason why you're still winning is because somebody won for us. And no matter what is going on in your life today, I want you to understand this one thing that Jesus wanted me to remind you of this, is that you were born to win. And until the next video, guys, my peace. Give yourself a big hug because I love you. I sincerely do. Bye now.